In this tutorial, we'll be showing the basic creation and use of mailing lists. A mailing list is an account type inside of the IceWarp system that allows you to find list members and send messages to all those members by sending a one single email to the root list account. To create a new list, simply use the new list option inside of the IceWarp web admin. To find the alias for the list, a description can be any unique identifier you'd want to provide. You can set a list owner here who can moderate the list if you choose to do so. And then for the source, you have two options, members from a text file or all current domain users. We'll go ahead and select the all current domain users option. Now if we click OK, then go back into our list, you'll notice we now have a members tab. In that members tab, we don't need to specify anything now because we've already selected the entire domain as having be members of this list. But you could further set other access here as far as different rights for receiving those messages. The default is receive and post, so all members of the list can receive messages from the list and post new messages. But you can define one or the other, receive or post, or a digest option here. The message tab allows you to manipulate the from and the reply to headers for messages to and from the list. You can also set a custom recipient, custom subject, and specify custom headers or footers as well. The security option allows you to create so only members can post new messages and you can also password protect the ability to email the list and have the list either be client or server moderated. And you can define what those default rights I mentioned earlier are here. Receive and post, digest, receive and post, or receive, digest, or post only. You can also determine max message size and max members count for this list. The services tab allows you to set antivirus, anti-spam, or quarantine usage on messages to and from the list. And the options tab allows you to do a lot of custom personalization such as using variables. We have some more advanced tutorials available in our training archive on mailing list utilization at icewarp.com. So now we'll simply click, click OK and we'll save those changes. Now we'll go to our domain admin account and we'll send a message to the list. We define our alias. Another basic message parameters. And we'll send this off. Let's hop over to Heather's account. And here's our mailing list email. From domain admin to the list to Heather. And again, if we hop over back to our domain admin account, you will see he also received a copy of the message because he's also a member, as we did specify all domain members.